Let's take a look at working with even and odd functions with the TID2 calculator. And, uh, well, actually, let me talk about the general idea of even and odd. If we take a graphical view of it, if you have a graph that looks like this, if you can take the, the right side of your graph, flip it, reflect it across the y-axis, if it lands exactly on this, this part, then that means it's even. So again, I'm taking one side, flipping it across the y-axis, uh, reflecting it, and it lands exactly on the other part of the graph. Now this is an example of an odd function. With an odd function, what you do is you start with one quadrant. doesn't matter which one you start with. It should work for all of them. You flip it, reflect it across the y-axis, and it would look something like this. If you then flip it across the x-axis and it lands exactly on this part, that means it's odd. Now to sum up what we just said, if you flip it across the y-axis lands exactly on that, it's even. What that indicates is it's symmetric to the y-axis. That's what even means. Now this one, you flip it twice. Flip it across the y-axis, flip it across the x-axis. If it lands on this, it's odd. And that's specifically symmetric to the origin. Okay, let's look at um, our first problem. We've got f of x is equal to x to the fifth minus x to the third. And we want to determine the functions even, odd, or neither. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to press my y equals. i got a bunch of junk on all three of those, so I'll press clear on each one. Down arrowing on them. Okay. So I up arrow, my flashing cursor is on y1 now. So I'll put x to the fifth. So I do x caret 5 minus x caret 3. And now let's press graph. Well, I'm looking to see if it's even or neither. Well, let's look at even first. If I start with this half right here, if I flip it across the y-axis, there's nothing for it to land on over here, so it's definitely not even. Let's look at the odd part. We'll start with this uh, quadrant, first quadrant. If I flip that across the y-axis, it'll look something like that. And if I flip it across the x-axis, it will land exactly on this part. So that means that this first one is odd. Let's take a look at this problem. We've got 3x squared plus 1. Same instructions. So let's go graph this. We press y equals, press clear, then we'll do 3, then our x key, and then x squared plus 1, and then graph. Well, if we take the uh, right side, if we flip it across, reflect it across the y-axis, it will land exactly on this part right here. So that means it's even. Now these are not even and odd because of the powers. Um, I could give you a different problem with odd powers that's not odd. And I could give you a different problem with even um, powers that's not even. So it's the graph that we're looking at to see about the symmetry. And that's how you can use the uh, T82 to help you determine if a uh, function's uh, even, odd, or neither.